What's going on, my DP peeps? Josh here with the Pride Productions back in Unreal Engine 4 with a 30th material tutorial. We got we got, we got, got 30 of them after I put this one up, so after you guys see it. And guys, it's going to be an easy one. This is something I just want to do real quick. I want to do it. I want to have some fun. We're going to make some shapes. I'm going to share to make some cool shapes with materials. We're going to make, I think, six of them. You know, just a couple things. We might have covered a few. We might not have, but I want to make sure everybody knows that you can make some sweet shapes with math in materials. So we're going to create a material. We'll go straight to it. I'm going to... I'm gonna name it Shape, bro. I'm gonna name it Shope. Oh, God. You know what we'll do? We'll name it Shape underscore one. Because we're gonna make multiples of them. You know, that way, every time I duplicate it, it'll go number two, number three, number four. So we'll drag it onto our, our plane right here. We got a big old plane right here. And let's go in here and start making our first uh, our first shape. So the first shape we're gonna make is a ball. I'm gonna set it to the plane here so I can do it right here. We've made all kind of balls before, but I just wanna make sure everybody knows how to do it. Click on your material, set opaque to translucent, this blend mode here, you know what I'm talking about. And the only thing, you see your little plane there? The only thing we need is a, a radial gradient exponential. And you guys have seen me. If you've been watching these tutorials, you've seen this a thousand times. But we're gonna plug this, we're gonna hold the number one and click, hold the number one and click, get two constant values. With this one selected, plugged into in the radius, set it to 0.5. With this one selected, plugged into density, we're going to send it to about 25. You plug it into base color. You got yourself a little ball. You plug it into opacity. You got yourself a little white ball. Get rid of the black. Save it. Go back. And we got a ball. You know, we're on our little on our little plane we had. Boom. You can see the see the ball. I can, I can hold alt and drag it over and get another ball. I got two balls. Now what we'll do is we'll right click on shape number one. Press duplicate. Boom. Shape number two. Drag it over here. Yeah, it's still a ball. But now we're going to go into shape number two and make some changes. Now, it's set it back to sphere. Let's set it back to a plane so we can see what's going on. You know what I'm talking about? And delete all that bra. Okay, now, let's right click and let's get a uh, let's get a texture coordinate. You know what I'm saying? Get, get yourself a texture coordinate. We're going to need a couple masks, okay? You can drag a line out of there, type in the word mask, grab you another, okay, you know what I'm talking about? And put one into each one of these. You can drop the little arrow, drop the little arrow, okay? And make sure this one only has the red channel. Go down to this one, make sure it only has the green channel, okay? And then what we're going to need is a multiply node. Now, we're going to need to do the same thing a couple times, so I'm just going to work with one, and then we'll copy and paste. So we're going to hold the letter M, brah. Plug it in here, this multiply. We can drop the, the, the error if you want. Just set it to 0.5, okay? Drag a line from that. Type in the word sign, bro. Don't, don't, don't be scared just yet. And you got a little, you got a little, you got a little sum sum. Uh, type in the word, gotta get the power. Gotta get the power. And again, y'all have seen me do this one quite a few times too. But the point is we're gonna set this power to about uh, 20, you know what I'm saying? And we're gonna have ourselves a little line. Now, what we can do is we can we can uh, control C that and control V it right here. And then plug it into this one. And where this one is the G mask, we're gonna have a couple lines like that, bro. Now, you know what we're gonna do. We're gonna make it, we'll make it real easy. Just drag a line, type in the word add, add them together. Drop your arrow, and you gotta, you gotta cross, right? But let's say we wanted to not have all that gradient action. We just want it to be white and black. Drap, drag, a, drag a line, type in the word if. Now this is where it gets interesting. Make sure this is plugged into the letter B. You know what I'm talking about? And then hold the number one and plug it into A and set it to 0.5. Now what I'm basically saying is, I want to get rid of the black, but I don't want to get rid of all of it. You know what I'm saying? So I want to, I want to get rid of the white, but I don't want to get rid of all of it. So if it's less than 0.5, it'll turn it black, and the rest of it, it'll make sure it's white. Now what we could do is just plug in the... Plug in the, the white if you want it, but this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to hold the number one again. I'm going to hold the number one again. Go to the first one and make sure it's set to zero. You know what I'm saying here? But make sure this one here is set to one. And we'll plug it into both of these bad babies. Now, if you want, even though it's this big if node, you can drag it over here, press the line, and boom. You got a little cross, bro. Plug it into base collar. Okay, sweet. We got a cross. We want to get rid of that black, bro. Plug it into the opacity, and you got yourself a cross, bro. You got yourself getting all religious, and that's fine. That's what you want to do. That's fine. So we got a ball and we got a cross. You put them together, and we're not gonna do that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag it. We're gonna drag it over here again, bro. We got yourselves another one. I'm gonna shape two. I'm gonna duplicate. It's gonna set me up shape three. I'm gonna drag it on here, and let's jump into shape three and create another one. Now, this we're, we're gonna make a box, and I understand if you just made like a hold the number three and press like if you just like, held the number three, right? Just get rid of the opacity. Hold the number three. Set it to white. You know, you could you just literally go here and set everything to the number one. Oh God, oh God, no God, not not eleven. One. You got yourself a good bit of the plane here. You got yourself a white box, but that's not really a white box, bro. That's that's a material that's just a big white material. But if we wanted to have like a box, like a square inside here, I'm about to show you how, bro. We're gonna get rid of some of this stuff. Okay, hold on to that if statement because we're gonna need it, and hold on to the most of these bad bits. Get rid of these six right here and get rid of that add. Now I want to do a couple things. Okay, I want to get two more of these, just like that. The same thing. Okay, we're gonna need 
this texture coordinate to be plugged into all of them because if it's not plugged into all of them, it ain't going to make no sense. But now, I want you to drag a line from this baby, baby right here and type in one minus, right? So it's going to make an opposite of that one. We're going to need another one of them one minuses right here. And now we got all kind of them. So if you actually put these four together, we have four different gradients. Left to right, right to left, up and down, down and up. We need the power. We need all kind of power. You know what I'm talking about? Now, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, this is me, thinking, uh, I'm thinking 50. Think of 50. Did I do 400? I did, I did, I did 500. We're going to do 40. I like 40. Okay. You know what? No, no, no. Now 40 is good. And I'm going to control C, control V. And you can see that it's going to create that line down at the bottom there. It's going to create this line over on the, on the, on the one side. And it's going to make that one on the other side. Now we got to add all these bad babies together. So we're going to hold the letter A. Instead of typing in add, hold the letter A right there. Hold the letter A right there. Hold the letter A right there. And add all these together. So we're going to add these two together, right? You can see your, you can see what we got. Little, little angle, bruh, little angle. I get another angle. Get a couple different angles, okay? A little, little viewpoint for, for your life, okay? And we're gonna put, we're gonna add those ads, and we're gonna have, a, we're gonna have, a, we're gonna have a box, right? But it's not exactly what I'm wanting to do here, okay? We, it's pretty cool. I like that, but I want the box to be white. So I'm gonna one minus that. Let's see what happens, okay? Now we got a box, but it's still got that gradient. Well, I'm gonna use this same algorithm. Plug this in here. Get rid of that error. Put it back. And now we got a box inside of there. Now, if you don't like the size of it, we can go back to these power nodes and maybe 30, 40, set it to 25 on all four of these bad babies. It's going to make your lines a little bigger. If it makes your lines a little bigger, it's going to make your box a little smaller. That, I know that, that doesn't make a lot of sense, but if you drop this error and hit it again, or you make sure live updates is on or whatever, and now you got a box inside of a box. I'm going to show you how you can tell that the box is inside of the box. Here I am pointing at the screen again, but you can see there. And it's kind of like it's a, it's a rounded box, bro. That's all it is. We're just making a little rounded box. And if we actually go out here and look at it, we can see that the plane's a little bigger in the box. But the point is you actually have a little rounded box now. And you made it with math. Oh, oh, oh. I'm going to hold alt. I'm going to bring it on over right here, right here. And I got me another one. I'm going to right click on shape three, duplicate. Oh, oh, God. No, don't rename it. Leave it the same name, bro. Duplicate shape four. Drag shape four on there. And let's start working on this one. Okay, so let's delete it all, bro. Let's delete it all in shape number four. Make sure it's set back to the plane. We turn that bad baby around. We're going to make a star. And you've probably seen me make a star before. We're going to need a radial gradient exponential. We're going to need a number one. We're going to need another number one. We're going to plug the first number one into radius like we did before in shape number one. Okay, but now we're in shape number four because we ain't scared. Plug the second one in density and set it out of 50. Set it all, all the way up on 50, okay? 50 is pretty good. It's a little sharp line there. But now I want you to hold the number two, okay? Hold the number two and get a two vector. Plug it into center position. Now it's set to zero and zero, and that's fine. Now if we plug it into base collar, you can see what's going on there. So what's going on now is I can set it to zero, one. You can see what it did there, okay? Then I can set it to one, one, okay? We see what it does there. And I can set it to one, zero. You see what it does there? It's making four little balls, bro. We need all four balls because I only got two of them. So well, I got one, but now I got two, four. Okay, and there you go. Now we got we got four we got four balls. Okay, balls. Now let's let's get a couple ads in here. Now actually, before that, make sure these are all set different. One zero, that's fine. Let's set this one to one one. Okay, and make sure that's one one. Set this one to zero zero. And set this one to zero one. And just whatever order you want, it doesn't matter because we're just oh god, oh we're just gonna be adding these bad babies together. So we got this big mess here, right? We're gonna do it again. We're gonna hold letter A right here. We're gonna hold letter A right there one more again, and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna get a bunch of ads. You add these two together, you add those two together, and then you add the ads together. And and like I said, you can kind of just drop the arrow to make sure it's looking good. You got a couple boop, or you got a couple balls right there, okay? And then you put them right here. And then you do another one right here, and you, you again drop the window and make sure you got a couple boob, or you got, got a couple more balls right there. And then we plug both of the or the plug or we're gonna plug them. We can plug them in together, okay? And we have four. We have a star. That's what we have. You can plug it in the base collar, bro. You got a little star, right? We gotta get rid of that black, bro. Not yet. Not yet. We gotta get the one minus because it's backwards. If you want your star to be white, you gotta be. You gotta one minus that bad baby. And you can look at it real quick by doing that. Plug it into the base collar. Make sure it looks good. Plug it into opacity. Make sure the black's gone. Save it. Boom. You got a star, bro. Go back out in the world. We got all kind of shapes here. We got. We got. We're making a couple shapes, bro. You want another star? You want me to get you? You want me to get you another one? I got you another one right here, but look at that star. Wrong. I'm going to right click on shape number four. I'm going to duplicate it and it's going to create shape number five. I'm going to drag shape number five onto this box and let's recreate that one. Now this time I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to show you a little trick. A little, little trick for your life. 
Okay, I'm gonna tell you type in a little texture coordinate. We've done these. We get one, get one of those. And I want you to mask it out. You know, you can you can drop the arrow if you want. Mask out the red channel. So it's mask. Make sure it's just the red channel selected. You have a little sideways gradient, right? That's fine. Now here's what I want you to do. Take from here again, and I want you to add. Okay, and I'm gonna add. Now look at this. Look what's going on here. And I want you to add. And you can hold the number one and plug something in here. And you know what? We'll do it like that just for fun. We'll hold the number one. And I want you to grab this little scalar parameter and set it to negative point five. Okay, you see what it did there? That's cool. You're like sweet. I want you to drag along here and type in the word dot. Get yourself a dot. Okay, plug this into the bottom because I'm weird. And we can un we can make it all big and plug this into that, bro. We can plug that into that. And look what's happening. Look what I got a little little triangle. We need to seal that. Seal C I C E I L, bro. And now you got like a little sideways triangle looking thing. I'm way down. I'm way down here, bros. Let's bring it on up. Plug. Oh, oh, oh. Wait. Make sure it's set to the plane, bro. You gotta be able to see. So we made like we made like a triangle, right? And you could you do like a one minus, you know what I'm saying? And like add those together if you wanted to do kind of cool stuff. And actually, I think we'll do that next. But the point is, hit the opacity with it. We created a little right angle triangle hypotenuse. You know what I'm saying? So now we got all uh, all kind of shapes, bro. All kind of shapes. And again, we could we could do more with that shape. So let's go ahead and do that right now. You got a little sh you got a little shape action, okay? A little math for you, I think. Right click on shape number five, duplicate it, creates the sixth one. Drag it on there, jump in. Now let's, let's keep what we did here on uh, this one right here. Make sure you set it back to the plane, bro. You see that? But I'm gonna make a little change, okay? This negative 0.5, make it negative 0.45, okay? That's pretty sweet, right? And let's go ahead and unplug these bad babies. It made all the changes because I got live updates selected. But you can see how it's a little too far, right? Well, that's cool. Let's go back and just duplicate, create the whole thing again down right here. Now, it said, it set this one to negative 0.55. Now look at the triangle. It's a little smaller than I want it to be, and that's fine. I want you to drag a line off of this one, bring it down here, type in one minus, okay? So what we're gonna have now is this. We have these two triangles, but there's a little space in the middle, so if I add them together, if I add this to that, we got ourselves a little, we got ourselves a little line down there, bro. Now I wanna show you something that's happening here based off the math we're doing. There's a glitch here, and I'm gonna tell you how we can get past it. So let's make sure we got all kind of room here, because we're trying to make a line. So if I, if I do a one minus now, we're gonna have ourselves a line, right? But there's a little, there's a little, little booger, little booger down there. We can't, we and we can't have that little booger. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna subtract. Okay. So you some word subtract. You gotta think about we need, we need to subtract this area. So what do we have? That's what. The, what do we have down here? That's white down here. So we can subtract this whole area from that. I'm gonna show you right now. We're gonna grab this bad baby that we got right here. Well, well this one, this one right here. We're gonna subtract that. Okay, now look at what happens. I plug it again. Boom, that little booger's gone, bro. We got rid of it, and I can plug that into base collar. You can look at your plane, make sure you got a little slant of line. Plug that in opacity. Now you got a slant of line, ain't no black in it. Save it, and we created a line. You created a line, bro. A slanted line, not just a, an e, a, you know, a, a two lines or one line or anything like that. Now, if you wanted me to keep going, I could keep going. We could, we could create more stuff. You could get rid of half of this, right, and just have a vertical line. or a, I figured making a cross, you guys see you can make a, a vor vertical line or a horizontal line. I, I see here you can tell you could obviously make this box whatever size you want, a little bigger, a little smaller. Same with the ball. Same with the hypotenuse here. Uh, you could just do a little stuff with it because it's all, all big, and all, all fat. And then the line is just kind of like a little, little line. And if you wanted, you could get deep into that and try rounding the edges and stuff like that. But what's cool about what we did here, guys, is we did all of these little simple tricks in less than 10 minutes. We literally, within 10 minutes, created, and I got all these windows right here because UE4 knows how we do. It's helping us out. You know what I'm talking about? Always just layering, uh, give me all kind of windows. But the point is, we, we created all these little mathematical art shapes Literally inside of literally inside of this with just with just nodes and literally just using mathematics. You know what I'm saying? So now, of course, would it be better if you can go in GIMP and just create this shape and bring it in there? Sure, but some of you guys don't know that it's possible quickly if you don't have a 2D program or you don't know exactly what you're doing with your 2D program or you don't have a 2D artist. Just real, just remember, and I like to remind you guys this every once in a while. And as I get new viewers, I want to make sure you guys understand how simple it is to create cool little objects with materials, just like that little little math little math droplets. Okay, little, 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 ged, little gadgets, okay? 
Thank you guys for watching a 30th material tutorial on Unreal Engine 4 with the prior productions all day, every day. Hit us up on uh, YouTube. Subscribe to, the subscribe to the channel. Hit us up on Facebook, man. Like that page. Follow us on SoundCloud. Follow us on Bandcamp. The links are all in the description. We're on itch.io. We're on SoundCloud. We're on all kind of different platforms. Hit us up. Watch videos. Learn stuff. Grab some free music and use it in your video games. Anything you want. And if you guys got any cool ideas, holler at me. I know a lot of you guys are waiting for some more Minecraft stuff. It is coming promise but until then peace